matapos mabigo sa pangarap na maging undisputed world champion sa bantamweight division, ay nagpahayag si Nonito the Filipino Flash Donaire na muli itong bababa sa super flyweight division upang subukang tuparin ang isa pa nitong pangarap ang maging 5 division world champion. Sa kasalukuyan ay 4 division world champion na nga itong si Donaire na nagawang maging world champion sa flyweight, bantamweight, super bantamweight at featherweight division. At sa muling pagbabanga nito sa super flyweight division ay target nito ang kahit sino sa apat na world champion ngayon sa naturang division. Kaya naman may tsansa na makaharap nito ang tumalo kay Jerwin Angkahas na si Fernando Martinez ng bansang Argentina. Kaya halina mga kaboxing at muli nating balikan ang isa sa mga naging laban ni Nonito the Filipino Flash Donaire sa Super Flyweight Division. Taong 2010 ang makaharap ni Nonito Donaire ang Mexican knockout artist na si Hernan Tyson Marquez. Kung saan dedepensahan ni Donaire sa unang pagkakataon ang kanyang interim WBA Super Flyweight title. Ang laban ng dalawa ay ginanap sa San Juan, Puerto Rico at bago ang kanilang bakbakan ay may baong kartada si Hernan Marquez na 27 wins, 1 loss at may 20 KO. Habang si Nonito Donaire naman ay may kartadang 23 wins, 1 loss at may 15 KO. Halina mga kaboxing at muli nating balikan ang kanilang naging bakbakan. Now there's the straight left on short notice after Gerson Guerrero failed an eye exam the Wednesday. Ay, straight left. And Marquez for his part has been very workmanlike. Marquez made his US debut in his last fight. Prior to it he was undefeated and he lost a 10 round decision versus lefty Richie Mafrano. And you know, Marquez felt straight left hand by Donaire. Ooh, another. another one. Now Marquez, he lands with a short right hook. Oh, 12. The WBA Super Flyweight Interim World Champion, Nonito Donaire. And Gold. gone with Rudy Perez. It's the most of his three of the four fights against Barrera. And he feels that's going to help him. And um, Perez said there, Donaire, very keep that distance. Donaire, born in the Philippines, raised. And that's the end. Donaire, who says that he has had some problems. Teen weighed in at 114 and a half. And very interesting. Donaire. Yeah, and you know, his, what we saw who takes a very uh, active role in his career. Defended him by talk. I buy from GMC myself. It is self back in 2007. When he not of the perfect punch, Sugar Ray Robinson used to punch, and that was a fight in which there's an uppercut from Donaire, and he he was because he leaves himself open. Of course, they you know Donaire ain't gets past Marquez. Marquez going to the body. Ooh, nice straight left hand by Marquez. Donaire. Left hand landing, followed by a nice dip right jab. Closing moments of the third round. Ooh, a left. Flush on the chin by Donair. Ah, these guys are starting to mix it up. Hernan Marquez. And Marquez is a good fighter. He's taking advantage of those moments. And he is landing more on air right now. Ooh. Donair's left hand, though, has been very effective as he counter punches. And he's been looping it. Air being a lefty. If he was a righty, there's no way. Well, he's Ooh, a beautiful uppercut with the left hand by Donaire. All the punches he's landing now, but Donaire's having a very early throw. And he's fighting short. See that left hand? keeping that right hand awfully low. The big left hand's in this round. He's close to this. This is probably been the best round of the fight, ironically, for Donaire. Even though he told us that he's afraid of Darchinian ducking him. Time, time. In gold, taking on 21-year-old Hernan Marquez. Donaire, the champion, has not been as sharp. And how about this? Professional scoring. Uh, Achilles Castaneda from TV Aztec in Mexico was 39-38, and uh, we've got, they've got it for Marquez. Now, Donaire turns over to the other side. Yep. He does it in the fifth round. 
Back to fighting as a righty. Nice body shot goal by Mark. And two of the judges, uh, and I want to mention Ray Colon also from the Puerto Rico paper, and Marvin Fonseca from an international news agency. Two of the judges actually had... Ooh, nice that. left hook by Donaire. Marquez in trouble trying to hold on. And Donaire nails him with the left hand that puts him down for the first time in the fight. So he goes orthodox, and he scores the first knockdown in the same round. Marquez in trouble. He's got wobbly... Right now, he is showing why uh, a fighter like Marquez is not quite a match for him. Marquez takes with Donaire. Good exchange. Donaire coming in. Oh, and Marquez just gives a pass. A double leg takedown. He may be out on his feet. Are you back doing MMA? Yeah, right. And that's the end of the left hook right on the button. He's starting to feel the size and power. Power from the Japan. There's Montiel. It's Darchini. By Donaire. Stiff jab. Now he's moving in. Ooh, very well at 115. He's taking bombs and not going down. Uppercut. Misses with the 0 oh, and 20, 1 and 20, 2 and 21. Zero. So uh, this is a big jump up for him. But very interesting is that Donaire now. So maybe that's something that he's trying to add to his repertoire. Yeah, it's a beneficial to do it from time. Sparred with Donaire for this, so he got tremendous sparring from a guy who's only one fight away from being a champion. Well, Marquez is showing some great combination, and he knows upcoming one way or the other, whether it's against Montiel or whether it's against Starchini. Six is just fantastic. Not a great fight. In the business, uh, there, Robert Garcia and uh, Penelope, weight world champion, his brother Jerry. And has certainly helped him a lot. Was over in the fifth and immediately recorded a knockdown. Seems like since that fifth round knockdown, he's taken his time. Worked up, used his jab, not in a rush. There's a straight right hand landing file by an upper. He's getting in work tonight. Donaire's in another mode though. He's in the I want to get enough. He's in the crowd. Right hand landing. Hi. Marquez starting to fight. If it Matapos tamaan ng left hook at uppercut ni Donaire sa round 8, ay muling bumagsak si Hernan Marquez. Nakatayo pa naman ito, ngunit ipinatigil na ng corner nito ang laban. Way of knockout in the Filipino flash, no nito donaire. Sa tingin nyo mga kaboxing, kaya kayang taluni ni no nito donaire si Fernando Martinez. I-comment nyo lang ang inyong opinion sa baba at isa-isa natin niyang babasahin.